was good to finally be home. After a week out on the road in Ohio and traveling and everything else, we finally made it back to the home shop and got back to work. Now unfortunately, we didn't get any video the night before, but I knew that the rain was coming so I wanted to make at least one hit on the street just to see if the Dodger would do it. It did pretty well and impressed us all, but it had some problems. So I got right to it and decided to pull the plugs because it sounded like I had either burnt one up or did something to the internals of the engine that wasn't very happy. We were fortunate that it looked like the rain was holding off and I had heard that there was going to be a shootout on the street here locally. I wanted to make sure we were ready for it. The new Holly system had been working very well. I was super impressed with how much I'd been learning in such a short amount of time. Unfortunately, we hadn't quite figured out the tune just yet, but I knew that Justin was here and we were going to take some time to get it right. So what's the issue? She a little rich. She got a little too much fuel to her. It's that bass holly tune that we've been trying to get figured out. That self-learn bullshit. That self-learn ain't, ain't gonna do it. That's no. self-learn for you right there. That's self-learn for you. That's called safe so it don't blow a hole beside it. So do you think I can make it to cash days tonight? Oh, we're gonna take some fuel out first, then we're gonna make it to cash days tonight. There we go. Much better. It's Friday night and uh, got invited to a little shootout on the street. Now, I've never raced with these guys before, but they claim that uh, all the vehicles run around the same time. Whenever you hear that, realize that it's a lie. So, the Dodger fits into that. We're going to go check it out. See if I can go racing with them. We did some stuff earlier to the truck, got it fixed up. Now I'm just doing the normal, switch the bottles, make sure we got tire pressure, make sure everything's good to go. So that way we can get to the spot and be ready to race. You know, in case you end up first off the trailer or first pair down, whatever, you always got to be ready before you even get to the spot to do that. So I know I've got to change the nitrous jets out because Justin wanted to put a little bit bigger jet in it and switch the bottle. Double check tire pressure because I filled the tires earlier. Get everything ready. The tune-up's ready to go. It's already in the, the computer. It's in the Holly in the ECU. So just doing the final stuff and we're going to head out. Go see if we can get into a little something on the street. Luckily, a new set of spark plugs is all the truck needed. We did a very basic compression test just to make sure it had compression against all eight cylinders, and it did. We didn't get too crazy because it wasn't going to change the fact that I was going racing tonight. Sometimes too much information is a bad thing. I'd rather not know if a cylinder is a little bit down on compression because all it's going to do is make me work. I don't have time to put in a new motor before we go racing. So it's better just to get that worry out of my head, stick your thumb over the cylinder hole and make sure it at least is pushing air out. That's all we did, got the jets switched out, 
decided to go from a 150 to a 200 shot because really it took the 150 on the street the night before with a ramp that was so small it didn't even need to be there. We all got ready to go and hopped in the truck to go meet at the race spot. What we didn't know is just how many surprises we were in for this night. Things got interesting and really quickly. Unfortunately, we got pulled over like two miles from here with the trailer lights. And one time that happens, I like to just cut all the BS and we're gonna go first off the trailer. I asked around, nobody was really taking it. Any, anybody got any call outs? Any call outs, any call outs. Anybody try and go off the trailer? So I'm just gonna fucking have to tell it. Round one, first pair down. We can go. Fuck it. Poppy stepped up. Poppy is fast in that truck. I know what that truck runs. And uh, I figured, hell, we're either gonna do it first round or in the final. Let's see if we can't do it first round. So we're gonna get it off the trailer. Give it a shot. First pair. You can says, what, Matt, do you, what do you got there? That, this is this is the Dodgers fuel gauge. Uh, what do you think? Mechanical. <laughs> What's this way? Matt's fuel yeah. gauge. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. High dollar ship. High dollar. This thing's been from hell. All right. I respect the fuck out of Poppy, and I know that he's fast. So you don't gain any respect by racing people and you know you can beat, you gain respect by racing people you shouldn't beat. You, you know who's driving is a pedo or pedo? Pop, pop Poppy. Driving, yeah. So it is what it is. That's my boy. I love him to death. I'm riding in the lane next to him any day of the week. Matt, where'd you say it was? It's in the bed of the truck. Bed of the truck. I think the finals might be the first pair down. Well, that's it. So I either take a shot at it now. Gotta beat him now. Right. You know what I mean? Before I mean, look, Pop's good. He, he knows what he's doing. But there's always a chance, round one, that you can catch somebody slipping first pair down the road. You know what I mean? And that's probably the best chance I got. I can tell you, if it came down to me and Poppy in the finals, I'd have no chance. He'd have it way figured out. So the best chance I got is to do this right now and send it. It didn't take long for the boys in blue to show up and ruin our party.
It was off to another spot. Unfortunately, in round one, uh, we put a tune-up in it. The dog would go down the road. Um, it got about, I don't know, 60, 100 feet out. It started spinning, and I knew it was because there's no reason that it should have uh, it should have been that high up in the RPMs that early in the run. So I tried to pedal a little, little bit. That didn't work, and it got sideways again. And Poppy was already out in front of me, and I knew I know I'm not running that truck down. So at that point, hey, call it a day. Come back, take a look at the logs, see what we can do to improve. Um, and then the cops showed up, so we are, we've been dealing with them a lot tonight, um, so hopefully this move will help us out. Now somebody here said uh, that they wanted to grudge race me, so maybe what we'll do is try to see if we can't get a grudge race going, maybe for at least the buy-in money would be nice, you know what I mean, get our buy-in money back that we lost round one. Even if not, I'll do it for free, I don't give a shit, I love racing, but, you know what I mean, but that's... That's where experience comes in. Like, I said it from the start. I want to be first pair down. The cops are right around here. I'd like to go first pair down, take a stab at it, get right back on the trailer. Even if I won, I still was going to put it on the trailer just because. Yeah, it was definitely a good call on your part. Yep. Go right. first off the trailer. It's it's not the first rodeo. So, mm -hmm. and this is all stuff that I've learned on the road from great people and everything else. And you just got to, you got to use your head, you know. Would I have liked to have gone later? Would I have liked to have raced somebody else besides Poppy? Sure, you know what I mean? I probably would have hooked better, who knows? I maybe had a better chance if I drew out the bag. Doesn't matter, because if I don't beat, especially now that we've changed roads, this road is better. So if I couldn't beat Poppy back there, the likelihood of me beating him here is highly, highly unlikely. So do what you can, be smart about it, don't get yourself in trouble. And just like now, it's it's on the trailer, and we're here hanging out. So I'll go meet up with this guy who wants to grudge race. I think he's got a truck. So we'll try doing that and see if we can make a better pass this time. Deal. Anybody Ryan got, got any coins in his car right there? There's all these cars. Ain't nobody got a coin. Some Somebody got a coin? Here. Who's got a Who's coin? Quarter. Coin. Nickel. Some. Some big and juicy. <laughs> Something to flip. All right. All right. There you drove further than you called.
let's rewind that and talk about what happened there. Right here, I made a rookie mistake that would end up costing me the race. I was paying attention to the computer instead of the flagger, so when Justin hit the light, I had given him at least a full car's head start. Luckily, the guy was pretty cool and decided we would run it back, so I spun it back around and went right to it. $50 back. I didn't sleep on the tree that time. Um, actually went slower. I tried to give it more. I thought it would take more because it felt really good. And we actually went a little slower. So we got to turn it back down a little bit. But I'm I'm very happy. I, I got no complaints. You know, down 100. This guy's going to give me my 50 back. You know, unless there's somebody else that uh, wants to, who is Pop. Pop wants to race me. Well, he said he's during test. I said he wants to get to the Dodger again. Oh yeah, fuck it. Huh? I need to Sorry. start it. Pull up the side. This side. I've been fighting issues with my battery, so I definitely need to get that replaced. As I was trying to turn the truck around, it ended up dying, and I couldn't get it fired back up. Alternator's working, I can see the voltage on the computer, but I think the battery's just not taking it anymore. So this week, I'll make sure I go swap out the battery for a new one, so we don't have these problems anymore. So, yeah, they're all shitting their pants up there. Right? <laughs> up there, fucking nobody will answer their phone. <laughs> right. I called Tommy. Um, it's uh, we're tonight. We're three and zero with the wall. Uh, so, and we're stuck. We, and we're stuck in a ditch. Yeah, we do got to get this thing out of here like pretty quick. The battery died. I need to get a new battery. I don't know what's going on. But he was like, look, just, hit or what? Huh? Matt, look. No. <laughs> just, let's just get up out of here. I got my fifty back. We're gonna have to push because it's on slicks and this grass is wet. Get that bitch fired up. Now let's get up out of here before we find the fourth cop that ain't. So after three different cop encounters in two different states, we decided it was probably best to just go home. I did want to make another pass because we did figure out just how to get the Dodger down the street. Now, believe it or not, that pass where I let him get the two-car head start on me was actually the fastest pass I've ever made on the street, both ET and mile per hour wise. So we were getting a hold on it. I got a little bit greedy, and that happens. This is a whole new experience for me. I've never had the ability to turn it up. Last year, all I had was a hundred shot on a wide open throttle switch. There was no giving it more because if I gave it more, it would have had to have been straight from home, and it didn't take any more from home. The good news is, we all made it home in one piece, the shootout happened, everyone had a good time, I made mistakes, but every time I get into that truck, I get a little more confident in the truck, and I get a little more comfortable myself. Those are two huge things when racing. It's not necessarily about how fast the vehicle is or anything else, if you've got confidence in that driver's seat, you're gonna do well. And that takes time to build. It just doesn't happen overnight. So, I'm gonna keep making passes on the street, keep running no preps, and keep doing everything I can to make sure I'm as comfortable as I can possibly be in that truck, and that's when the magic's really gonna happen.